everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Sharon a, and for today's video we are going to be talking about common questions that you would most likely be asked in the interview process for the role of a UI UX designer or product designer and we're also going to go over some tips and tricks about how to answer these questions best now of course if this sounds like something that you are interested in please do not forget to support me by liking sharing commenting and of course subscribing to my channel so without wasting any more time let's get into today's video So as I mentioned, we'll be covering different questions, so you can of course check the description below, look through the timestamps, and skip ahead to the ones that interest you the most. So typically, the first question that you would be asked is, tell me about yourself. So when you're asked this, you just really want to go into a bit of detail about yourself personally, not too much. Just give a brief overview, your name, where you're from, maybe where you currently work. And then for the most part, you really just want to pivot into your career and where you are at currently, what interests you the most career-wise, what you're looking to achieve, and just try and sell yourself, what you think you're proficient in, what you're passionate about, and so on and so forth. So going into the details that you strongly believe make you a strong candidate for whatever role you're applying for. So you can also say, for example, that your name is so-and-so and you've had, you have so-and-so years of experience and you're very passionate about user experience design and about creating relevant solutions and solving problems. You're also passionate about user research and using data to solve problems. So you can just go into some kind of detail and, you know, give the interviewer a bit of more understanding of who you are and where you're at professionally. Another question you might be asked is, do you have any experience with user research? Now, when you're asked this question, what you want to do is beyond saying yes, you want to say yes and then give an example. So you could say, yes, I have some experience working with user research and then go into some detail about maybe a situation where you included user research in a project that you were working on and what was the relevance and why do you think it was important and you know, basically just highlight um, what role that it played and how maybe it saved you time or it gave you insights just to really communicate that you understand and that you value the importance importance of user research within the design process. Another question you might be asked is what is your favorite current design trend? So people really just ask this question to get an understanding of how much of an understanding you have of what is currently happening in the, in the design world today. People will always want to hire designers that they feel kind of have a finger on the pulse of what's going on. So people that are trying to keep up to date with trends, people that are constantly reading articles and trying to really educate themselves on current happenings and current design trends. So here you could, for example, say you're really interested in voice UX uh, or maybe UX for augmented reality or virtual reality. Those are just some examples of things that are kind of common these days and so you can go into a bit more detail about why you think it's great, what relevance you think you know it has and how you are taking steps to get into it, basically how you think it would solve relevant problems that people are facing today. Another question you could be asked is how do you handle trade-offs? So essentially what they want to know is how do you handle situations where you have to compromise? Situations where you cannot get the ideal kind of solution because you need to meet specific maybe user needs or business needs and maybe there's a bit of a clash. How do you decide what to prioritize or not. So in situations like this, what people really want to hear from you is how you're communicating these trade-offs with stakeholders and of course how you actually decide what it is that you want to trade off on. So are you looking at specific business needs? How are you prioritizing maybe one business need versus another? How are you prioritizing one user need versus another? So here you would want to go into some information or some details about how maybe you use user research to understand what needs are more pressing and how you use some understanding of business goals to understand what would be the most relevant and try to balance it out and of course talk about how you would communicate with stakeholders and ensure that everyone is on the same page. Now a very important tip here is to always use an example. So if you have an example of a situation where you had to make certain trade-offs either design-wise, business-wise, in whatever aspect or whatever area, it would always be great to give a specific example and walk the interviewer through the problem, the solution, what happened and you know all of that. The next question you could be asked is what is your design process? Right here you just 
just want to talk about what design process you most likely use when you're solving problems so for example do you use if you use something more common like a design thinking approach and so you start with empathizing and you define problems and you ideate and so on you want to highlight that and then talk them through it and make them understand the relevance of your process now process is a very important aspect of ux design so you want to ensure that throughout your conversation with whoever is interviewing you you are highlighting the most important parts for example user research and empathizing and that you really understand how important a role these two parts of the, of the process you know play in your approach to solving design problems of course you need to also communicate that you understand that these processes are not linear and that sometimes there will be trade-offs sometimes you would move from one stage to another and you know there will be some back and forth but that while you try to maintain the important things you're also flexible another question you could be asked is what project are you most proud of so here, of course, if you have the opportunity to maybe share your screen, the assumption here is you should have a portfolio and you know your case, your projects in your portfolio would be like in case study format. So you could share your screen if you have like a website or a PDF that you really want to show off and like, you know, really visualize what you're talking about. So here you would want to walk them through a project that you are genuinely proud of and that you're familiar with. So you don't want to maybe walk them through a project that you did many years ago that you don't quite remember the detail of. So you want to an example of one that you know you're conversant with and you probably worked on not too long ago so it's fresh in your mind. Then you want to let them know why you're proud of it, what impact it made, why you think it was such a relevant project in your career. One good tip is to highlight projects where you didn't work on it alone so you collaborated with other people and just kind of highlight that while talking about it. This again is something that's important because being able to work with others is great. So you want to talk about the relevance of the project, what problem it solved, how you worked with other people and what it is specifically that was so great about the project that you think it had a great impact on your career and of course what you learned the most from this project. Alternatively, another question you could be asked is what project are you not so proud of or a project that you would like to go back and do things differently? So of course here you want to explain what the project was about, what you were trying to achieve, and what went wrong. Of course, as with all interview questions, you want to ensure that you're painting a clear picture for the interviewer. So for example, you could say you worked on a project and on this project you probably didn't do a lot of user research and so you launched a project and people were not able to probably use it and maybe there was churn as a result of people not being able to use this project or this design that you worked on. What's important is that you highlight what you learned from it and what you would always do differently. So in this example now you would say it really reinforced the understanding that user research is extremely important and that you always have to carry out usability tests before you launch the project or a particular design so you just want to explain that you know you've learned from it and that you've grown from this experience in your career so another question you could be asked is how do you handle multiple stakeholders so for this question what people are trying to really understand is how you basically handle numerous people and how much value do you place in the importance of communication so of course you want to ensure that if you have an example you can give it and then you just want to walk them through how you keep everyone updated on the different decisions and the different processes that you're going through throughout the design stage so how you collaborate with your researchers with other designers with your product manager or owner or your developers so just highlight a situation where you had multiple stakeholders or clients that you were working with and you know how you were able to ensure that everyone was on the same on the same page did you probably schedule weekly check-ins did you send and people weekly updates on things that you were working on just however you ensured everyone was updated let the interview know what happened and how everything worked out another question you could be asked is do you have any questions for us so that's the interviewer asking you if you have any questions for the design team or for the interviewer himself so here you want to ensure that you are asking questions that give you an understanding of the company itself and that you really are asking questions that you think would give you an insight into whether you yourself want to work there. So you could ask them about maybe their design process or how their current design team is structured, if they currently have a design system and how they generally like to work together. You can also ask questions regarding the 
culture of the company and you know how everything works so just to give you yourself a better understanding about how everything works there and you know if you yourself would even like to work there as well another question you could be asked is why did you apply for this company in situations like this it's important that you highlight interesting parts about the company and you know do some research on the company and um, highlight what makes you think that you could be a good fit and so you also want to use this opportunity to show them that you have done some research about the company which is very important and also the aspects of the company that you think are cool and interest you the most and where you think that fits into your career so you want to use this as an opportunity to kind of sell the value you think you would bring as well as letting them know what aspects and what parts of the company interest you the most another question you could be asked is walk us through your portfolio now this it depends on how much time that they have you know, allotted to you but you just want to ensure that your first at least one or two projects are really projects that you're proud of and that you really went through like a good process and you know that you can just run through and highlight all the important bits so depending on how much time that they have allocated for it some people do this process this portfolio review as a completely separate process if they're going to do it in such a way that it's still part of the interview where they also ask you other questions you want to ensure that you're just hitting all the important aspects and so you're highlighting the parts where you did you know really important work and that you're also explaining to them how you arrived at whatever solution you eventually you know arrived at and how it was collaborating with other people and what you know tiny details you want them to be aware of um, now some general tips I would say uh, first ensure that when you're answering questions you try to your best to keep it short sweet simple straight to the point don't waste too much time going into any unnecessary details um, Another point would be to ensure that you don't interrupt your interviewer, ensure that you are as you know, polite and courteous as possible. Another point would be to remember to be confident and don't give off the impression of being timid or being cowering, but really try to carry yourself well because you know the value that you are also bringing to the table as a designer. Another tip is that when you're answering questions, do your best to give examples. So always try to paint an image in the mind of the interviewer so that they're better able to follow along with whatever answers that you are supplying to their questions. Another tip is to ensure that before your interview you do extensive research about the company. This is very important and showing that you have done this research in some of the way you answer questions, sprinkling some knowledge of the company that you have, shows that you have done some research and that's always a good thing. So get to understand the company, what problems they're solving and how best you think you would fit into the company's goals and objectives within the near future. Another tip is to always attend your interviews with some way to access your case study or portfolio. So it could be that you would have a link in your browser that's open or you have the file already open and when you're asked a question, you can easily share your screen and walk them through it. So guys, I really hope today's video was helpful for you. If it was, please do not forget to support me by liking, sharing, commenting, and of course, subscribing to my channel. Thank you all so, so much for watching and see you next time.